Hey, what's up? John Sanmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Coding Dojo is a programming school that turns beginners into developers in only 14 weeks. If you're serious about landing a career in tech but lack the formal education or background, Coding Dojo will get you there in no time. With over 3,000 graduates to date, over 90% of their grads land jobs within three months of graduating, often making over 70K per year at tech firms of all sizes, from companies like Google to local startups. To learn more, visit CodingDojo.com or click the link in the description below. So I got a question, I actually got a comment on one of my videos, which uh, was, uh, I did this video on how Pluralsight changed my career, uh, and this is on part four, uh, got rich in 30 courses in a year. Uh, so you can check out that video, but someone left a comment on there and he said, please do a video talking about your decision to stop making Pluralsight videos and to switch to building Simple Programmer. So I have to say, you know, first of all, if you haven't signed up for Pluralsight, you should definitely sign up. Uh, you can check it out there. Uh, you can check out the link here, and you can check out, like I said, I've got a video, I've got a playlist on my Pluralsight video story. It was something that really helped me in my life, and it's a really good resource for for developers. Uh, you know, I, I, I say even even today, it's just it's crazy how much uh, how many courses are out there and how cheap it is to get access to that. And and I know I'm biased since I'm an author. I have 55 courses on there, but Honestly, like if you sign up for Pluralsight, it's not really going to matter as far as my courses, like the revenue I generate from them. I do have an affiliate link and I do get a referral, but again, it's not much money. Uh, I really tell you because it's honestly the best resource that I know of for, for developers. Like it's something that I would totally be doing if I were starting out and I wanted to learn about any technology. But that's not what I'm planning on talking about today. I want to talk about more like why did I make the decision to switch from doing Pluralsight courses to growing Simple Programmer. And when I did this, a lot of people said, man, John, that's dumb. You could make millions of dollars doing Pluralsight courses, continuing to do them, right? Because at that point, I had done like 36 courses in one year. Again, you can check out my story and hear about that. And I was busting ass and I was doing really good with the royalties. Like I said, I was one of the first authors to make over a million dollars from royalties in Pluralsight. And I've probably made you know several million dollars from 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 just the royalties on, on plural side at this point I think it's it's close to two million or so so that's pretty fucking awesome right I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie that's that's good right so you might say then why would you go and you know I mean could you really be making much money from simple programmer doing these YouTube videos and and whatnot so why would you make that switch especially at the time right I was at the peak of my plural site career and I could have just kept on making more courses, more videos as Pluralsight was growing and could have really expanded that revenue stream. So why switch from that and switch to going, you know, full time essentially working on simple programmer stuff, right? Why why do that? So there's a couple of reasons, okay? And I'm I'm going to give it to you straight like I always do here on this channel. So uh, you know, the first one is, uh, it, it, it's really interesting, and I have to tell you too, i give you a little bit of background. At that point, Simple Programmer wasn't really making a lot of money, not much at all. I'm trying to think what the numbers would have been, but it might have been like a few thousand dollars a month, right? I didn't have any kind of employees, any kind of staff like I do now, right? It was a much smaller operation. It was really just a blog. There was no YouTube channel, essentially. There might have been like a couple of videos or something like that. And there, there was not, there wasn't even a product really at that point, right? So I was really just making money from a little bit of the ads from advertising in, in Simple Programmer, but that was pretty much it. At that time, Simple Programmer really wasn't generating much money. There wasn't a lot going on with that. So for me to cut over from doing Pluralsight courses, which every single course was really upping my revenue at this point, I was getting paid to make the course, you know, uh, somewhere five to $8,000 plus, I was getting royalties on top of that, plus being a, one of the top authors, it was almost guaranteed that I was gonna continue with my momentum. So it was, it was definitely a big decision. So I d dedicated a year when I first quit my job I dedicated a year to just doing Pluralsight courses, and then after that, I haven't done a Pluralsight course since then uh, at all, right? And so why, why would I do that? Okay, so there's a couple of reasons, like I said. So the first reason, one of the first ones, which, you know, is, again, I'm not gonna rank these reasons, but there's definitely different factors here. But one of them was, honestly, it's about owning your own corner. So there's actually a really good book that sort of influenced its decision. It's actually called The 50th Law. It's by Robert Greene and 50 Cent of all, all people, you should definitely check out this book. 
I listened to the audio version of this book. I listened to it a few times, but I highly recommend it. It's a really, really good book. And it really talks, there's a part in this book where he talks about owning your own corner, right? And this is kind of funny, but you know, 50 Cent was work, he was a drug dealer at some point. Oh, it's, does that amaze you that a rapper would be a drug dealer, right? So anyway, you know, it's a business, right? It's an entrepreneurial effort, honestly. So he was working for someone else, right? And he tells a story about how he basically got the shaft until he was the one that was running the operation. And then, you know, he employed people. So it's, you know, it's a good story in there. Trust me, you know, it might not sound like something that you could learn from, but you really can learn from drug dealers because they're fucking hustlers, right? I mean, they're hustlers, they hustle, okay? So I was thinking about that a lot, right? I was thinking about like one really important concept in your life is to own your corner, right? You can make a lot of money on someone else's corner, but they can also kick you to the curb, right? And, and some of that has happened in my Pluralsight career, right? So, that, that, so, so part of that, like if I were to go a little bit further here, is that I have had courses for Pluralsight. No offense, I mean, I love Pluralsight, I love all the guys over there, but you know, everyone has their, their issues, right? And when it's someone else's corner, you don't have ultimate control. So with my Pluralsight courses, there were some of courses that I did, that I completed, that I did contractually completed, and they essentially did not fulfill, they did not publish the course for whatever reason. Now there's some, you know, a lot of it, there was peer reviewers and there was a lot of jealousy and whatnot because I was doing so many courses and how can someone possibly do courses as fast and are they actually learning anything or teaching anything? But, you know, I mean, my, my work speaks for itself. Go watch my courses and you can see that they're, Good courses, they're rated, almost all of them are rated like four and a half, five stars. Thousands of people have taken them. So they're good courses, but people get upset and they get jealous. So what, for whatever reason, right, it doesn't matter political, you know, political shit happens, is that at least three or four of my courses that I spent, you know, a lot of effort on got rejected, right? We're not gonna publish this. And that's, you know, that, that showed me right there that as much as I think that I'm independent there and I'm making my own money, ultimately, if you're playing someone in someone else's court, right? You're playing in their court. They're the ones who have control over the process and so you, you don't have that control. The other thing also is I wanna do a lot of courses like this where I'm talking to the camera and I'm not just using slides. So the creative process, I didn't have full creative control over that. They basically said, nah, we don't want to really want you to do video and whatnot, but this is how I'd rather communicate. So I was restricted a little bit here. So it's not just all about the money, right? And plus, all, what kind of courses do I want to create, right? Do I want to create some soft skills type of courses and stuff? I'm, I have to get the courses approved, right? They have to be the ones that I'm allowed to create. I can't just create what I want. And so all of those things are somewhat restrictive. And, and yes, I'm making a lot of money, but money isn't the, other, the only thing. But there, I'm not going to say there's not a monetary thought involved at all, right? So another thing that, that caused me to, to make that choice was I also thought, you know, along the same lines, do I want to continue to invest in their platform? And yes, I can make a lot more money and I can make a lot of money doing that, right? I'm being honest with you guys here, right? And I understand the, the amount of money. And so I understand that this was a lot of money. That's why I'm, I'm telling you these real numbers here so that you, you understand the gravity of the situation. And, you know, and, and sometimes you just got to make a choice. And, and, and what I decided was that if I continue down this path, right? And I did, let's say, Pluralsight courses for the next five years, I might get to the point where I was making a uh, million dollars a year from Pluralsight courses or more, right? But if I continued, if I fast forwarded five years down the road of doing Simple Programmer, where would I be, right? I might be at that same point, right? But which is, is quite achievable. At this point, I think Simple Programmer does about around 40 to $50,000 a month in, in revenue. Not all that's profit, right? I have a partner in the business, as you can check out the video where, where Josh became a partner in the business. So we split the, the profits and I pay employees and I've got a lot of expenses and whatnot. But it's conceivable that we could do hundred or $200,000 a month, that we could grow the business to that. And when we do, then I could be making, you know, a million dollars a month profit, I mean a year, not a month, a profit from Simple Programmer, right? It can, it can grow to that proportion, right? And so, and it's also a lot more, well, I won't say it's a lot more passive or it could be, right? There's a lot of things I could get going, right? So that was a big decision was that I thought if I don't do this, right? And, and you, didn't, you never know, right? If someone else's, if it's someone else's thing, it could dry up, 
right? So let's say that I did Pluralsight for five years, but then they, they kicked me to the curb or it dried up or they've retired some of my courses. Can you believe that, right? Some of my most popular courses that were making the most amount of money that were still quality courses, you know, whatever, is those things get retired. Again, I'm not, I'm not angry at Pluralsight. I love Pluralsight. I still recommend them, even though, you know, I've had some, some, some bad experiences being an author, but I've had more good experience. You see what I'm saying? Like I'm being totally honest with you. I'm being transparent with you so that you understand this, that you know that anytime you're working for someone else, you are working for someone else. It's someone else's business. If you're not the owner, you're, you're not, it's not you, right? You, you don't have control. If you are not the owner, you do not have control, right? But with Simple Programmer, I'm the owner. So yes, I was making less money. Yes, you know, it wasn't as big of an opportunity, but it's my corner. I get to own it. And so that's what, you know, what really propelled me is I said, okay, I'm going to invest in Simple Programmer. I'm going to invest in my own thing, my own corner. And yes, I might have to build it up. And yes, I might not make as much money. And yes, it might not, it might not take me as far, but there's no limit, right? I could build up Simple Programmer and, and there's no limit to how far I can, I can build it because it's mine. Whereas Pluralsight, I can only go so far. I'm only going to be able to make so much money, right? Um, I'm the owner, right? Aaron Sconard and, and Fritz Onion and, you know, and those guys, they, they own it. So they, they have, you know, unlimited potential of, of the money that, that they're making from it. So you want to be the owner, right? This is a really important concept in life. And you can't always be the owner, right? You can't always start out as the owner, but you want to do that as soon as you can, right? So sometimes you're the apprentice and sometimes you, times you have to learn. And that's important and all that. But if you can be the owner, if you can own the corner, that's that's really important. It's really important to me. Again, you guys know that my highest principle in life is freedom. And if I'm constantly constrained by someone else, right? And influence, right? I have to think about, again, like think about it this way too, right? As far as YouTube videos, right? If all of my eggs are in the basket of Pluralsight, what, what happens when I talk about, you know, I've talked about some, have you I've been subscribed to this channel? If you haven't clicked the subscribe button now, click the bell actually so that you don't miss any videos i can say whatever the fuck i want right and i do and so if i were if all of my financial eggs were in the basket of plural side right then i would have to be a little bit afraid right just like if i work for someone else about what do i say what what happens i like i, I can't get bad press because then what if plural side disconnects with me and they don't want to me to do any more courses and you see what i'm saying i would be i'd be owned to some degree right i own myself now i don't care i don't give a flying shit oh you know what what happens i've got real estate i've got other investments right i've got simple programming built up i can build this however i want and i can say whatever i want i've got a, f a fully free platform and I, I don't know if you can really put a price on that, right? I mean, most of us do. Most of us sell our, our freedom and our, our souls in order to, for, for a paycheck, right? And I'm not, I'm not trying to offend you if, you if you do. I was there for a long period of time, but I realized that I'd rather be poor, right? I'd rather be out poor and be on my own and have my freedom than to, to sell it to someone else. I'd rather be able to be able to say whatever I want to say and to do whatever I want to do. And I'll accept the consequences because they're my consequences, right? It, it's, it's, I bring it on myself and I'm, I'm perfectly happy with that. So that's why I made the choice, right? And again, is this the right choice? Is it maybe not for you, right? Maybe you would have made a different choice in that circumstance, but it's the right choice for me because and by, by doing that, I've been able to grow Simple Programmer and I've been able to do what I want to do. And I want to take things to the next level, right? I want to take this, I'm, I'm think, really thinking a lot now about taking Simple Programmer and making it more mainstream, right? I, I don't want to just, I mean, so many people now email me every day about how Simple Programmer has changed their lives. A lot of programmers that I just got an email or a comment from someone who was homeless and actually went from the street and just got in within a year from watching my videos and, and consuming my content, went and got a job first time as a software developer and that's pretty cool stuff right but I want to take it further and so I, I get to I have full you know the, the road ahead of me is, is completely up to my up to me it's my decision and so that's something that I wouldn't have working for someone else so just you know a couple of things here maybe to, to gain from this is one like I said own your own corner right anytime that you can own your own corner okay it's more valuable to own your own corner than to make more money right so you'll be a slave to money right and people anyone who gives you money anyone that 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 you have to get the money from you're going to be a slave to them to some degree, right? They're going to have their hooks in you. So anytime you accept money, anytime, even if you're working for it, right? If it's not your corner, 
they have your hooks, their hooks in you. And so you are going to be biased. You're going to be limited by what you can say. You're going to have a limited amount of freedom because you're dependent on that. So try to be as independent as possible, as self-reliant as possible, right? And sometimes, you know, in life, when you've got the choice between, and I've said this before, between money or responsibility or power, right? Choose sometimes a responsibility. Choose to be self-reliant more and accept less money because you'll have more power and you'll have more freedom. And that's, that's you know, you have more of an unbounded upside. I, I did this video a while back on unbounded upsides, which you can check out here. And I try to create as many unbounded upsides in my life as possible. And what I mean by that is that it's situations where their downside is limited, okay? There's, there's so, you know, you can only go so low, right? It's, it's a bounded down Downside, but the upside is unlimited, right? If you're working for someone else, for example, as I was for many years of my career, there, there's no, you're never going to become super rich by doing that. But if you own your own business, you sort of have an unbounded upside, right? And if you're working for someone else, even as a plural side author, where you're sort of independent, you still, it's still bounded to some degree, right? I mean, there, there's only so much that, that you can do that you can produce because you don't have leverage, right? If I'm working, you know, and again, I'll, I'll give you this example here, right? If I'm a plural side author making plural side courses, I'm, I'm getting passive income. It's very true, okay? But I still have to produce in order to have that income level rise, right? Some of it, you know, if Pluralsight grows, I can I can make more income from that, of course, but it's bounded. It, it's, it's, a, it's not an exponential curve, it's a linear curve, right? Whereas if I own Simple Programmer, think about this, I can hire people. I could hire people to make courses for me or to make books that I publish, that I own. I've got that ability to do that and so my upside is unbounded. I could have, I could be doing nothing, right? Besides coordinating the deals or just having these deals in place and making more money without me even having to do any, you know, there's a lot of work to build a business, but once you have that foundation. So think about these things in your life. I think it's really important to think about, all right? And so anyway, that's my story. That's why I made the choice and I'm happy I made the choice, right? Some people might say, you know, you're still stupid, John. You should have stuck with Pluralsight. You made a lot more money, but you know what? Again, when, when, you, when you really think about it, when you have the option, uh, freedom is way more important than making a little bit more money potentially, right? And uh, I know that it might be hard for you to imagine that in this particular, unless you're in that scenario, but it's something to think about in life, right? Is to make those choices, especially the long-term choices, right? In my mind, 10, 15 years down the road, building my empire will always be more profitable than helping build someone else's empire, which all empires eventually crumble, right? But I'd rather, I'd rather be at the helm of it so I have control over it. So I'm gonna be able to, and I can go a different direction if I need to, right? If, if I was doing Pluralsight courses for a long period of time, right? For the next 10 or 15 years, and then that falls apart, eventually it does. What do I have back to, back to fall on, right? What do I have to fall on? I don't have my own business. Then I have to start over from scratch. But with Simple Programmer, right? I've always got something going on here. All right, that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, make sure you click the subscribe button below. Click, click the bell so you don't miss any videos that I do here on this channel. I'll talk to you next time and take care.